We know you work hard to stay informed. So when you need a break from all the breaking news, check out our sister channel, AWE. And when you're ready for more headlines, come back to us at One America News. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Cassie Loyfin, and we begin with breaking news. OAN and AWE. From topical issues to tropical islands, we make a perfect pair. Okay, so maybe you will never be able to fly the Millennium Falcon, but now you don't have to be in a galaxy far, far away to sport Han Solo's style, his jacket. The smuggler's infamous jacket's going up for auction, making a dream come true for Star Wars fans everywhere. Harrison Ford donated the jacket he made famous in 2015 for Star Wars The Force Awakens to the If Only auction house. He's donating it there in San Francisco. The money will benefit the NYU Langone Medical Center, where Ford's daughter was treated for epilepsy in 2009. As far as the bidding, the current bid for the autographed leather costume piece is $33,000, and that bid is expected to rise. All for a great cause, and if only I kept my high school letterman jacket, I might be able to get about 33 bucks for that one. I'm Cassie Loyfin. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate our viewers more than you know. Tara Millspa has more headlines coming up for you right after this. Keep it here on One American News. It's time for a new way of looking at news. It's time for a network that cares about a strong America. It's time for an honest assessment of our nation's leadership our foreign policy, our fiscal responsibility, and our national security. It's time to switch things up. If you're looking for credible news, then you've come to the right place. One America's ready. Are you? Straight ahead on One America News, new details in the case of a convicted murderer featured in a popular podcast, the newest testimony and the revelations from it, up next. We get a lot of emails asking how we make money. It's a good question. Some even accuse us of being run by big businesses or political mega donors who are determined to influence the news you see. But the truth is we're an independent family owned business devoted only to you, our viewers. And you see each month when you pay your cable company, a small percentage of that bill is shared with us. And while some networks demand more than $6 a month to carry their channels, all we're asking for is less than 10 cents a month per household. For too long, what you see on TV and how much you pay for it, those things have been controlled by the cable companies. This is the time for you to take a stand. So for those of you who are watching on one of the more than 150 cable systems that do carry us, we thank them and we thank you. And as we continue to grow, we will work hard to keep our promise to you to be the people's network and your source always for credible news. story and it's a good one a giant siberian unicorn may have lived at the same time as early humans but unicorns aren't real hey i don't make the news i just get it to you this is according to paleontologists who recently found the fossilized skull of what they're calling the siberian unicorn in kazakhstan okay so a little false advertising as you can see it's more of a hairy wildebeest but the creature gets its name from the long sword-like horn on its head 